Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, it is Thursday, the week of Atalanta Juve, I say it and I repeat it every single morning, why? Because it's a big game, a big game that will be really decisive to see if Juventus really have the chance to finish second in Serie A or if we will be in danger to be out of the top four. We will speak about that because uh, it's approaching, it's approaching really soon, I have to say it was not really easy until yesterday today night to find what I wanted to say today on video. It was not easy until the bomba. The breaking news because someone really well known was in Torino yesterday. Do I reveal it or do I wait after the intro? I think I will already reveal it. Mino Raiola, agent of Bernardeschi, of De Ligt, of Pogba, of Donnarumma, of Romagnoli. He was in Torino yesterday. People saw him around the J Hotel. We will speak about that because Italian and international papers, they are speaking about our beloved Juventus. <music> already launched it, the big big news about Mino Raiola, not only that because we have also other news to speak about Locatelli, Dybala and so on, but first before starting I remind you kindly do not forget to put a like on the video, maximum of like, this is what we have to do, subscribe if you didn't yet, we are really close, really close to 12,200, we are growing, thank you for this and now we start with Corriere dello Sport who is saying Roma gioca per l'Italia, Roma you have to play for Italy, we don't care if they win in Europa League or not, who cares, I don't care, anyway, so then I was looking also on the front pages and then I saw something that was quite interesting, no they are not speaking about Mino Raiola, they are speaking about P Manuel Locatelli, player from Sassuolo, that yesterday on Corriere dello Sport he re revealed a few words, here it's written, Sogno una grande in Europa, I dream of a big team in Europe, if you go inside he's also saying I am ready for a big team, he's launching signs that he will not stay at Sassuolo next year, he's ready to play in a big team, he's ready to play the big cups because probably with Sassuolo he will not make it, let's see. It is more and more clear that Locatelli is the target of Juve. I repeat you, I remind you what I already told you in the past. Locatelli is number one target and Juventus will try everything to sign him before the start of Euro 2020 that will be played in 2021. So we continue to see it. And after the Locatelli, I have two news to say and then we go to Mino Raiola. The first one you, remind, you, re, you know because if you follow the channel you know that Socios is a big, big, big part partner of Juventus, they just launched yesterday a big new contest that you the fans that are creative, that are able to draw uh, manually or also with a computer like design, you are able to do something for the Coppa Italia final versus Atalanta, you will be able to draw the fan pennant, pennant is the thing that you are giving uh, to the other team, that pennant will then will be signed by players and probably you will receive it back. What a honor, an amazing honor. So for all the creative guys out there that are watching the video, don't hesitate. Go on Twitter, check socials. There is a link, you download it and you can start. Go for it. And I repeat you because we are speaking about socials that on Saturday at 8 p.m. on Twitch, I don't know if you already uh, followed my channel or not, G just you the Twitch, you will be able to be just in the chat and try to win a signed shirt. This is an opportunity that you can't miss. And now we go to all the other news, guys. Gazzetta dello Sport. Gigio Juve Porta Aperta. Gigio Donnarumma Juventus. The door is open. Why are they saying that? Because yesterday we saw Mino Raiola, like Tutto Sport is saying, Juve Mino Pensaci tu. Juve Mino Raiola. You have to think about it with the pictures of a Ballon d'Or. Why? I don't know. And I don't even know if it's a Ballon d'Or. But then you you have uh, Paul Pogba and you have Moise Keane next to him, so big names, big names because Mino Raiola is one of the most important football agents in the world, 
He has so many players. Yesterday, he has been seen in Torino after his uh, croisade in uh, Europe, after uh, uh, Barcelona, after UK, after uh, Madrid. He was yesterday in uh, Torino. It's not official. Juventus didn't communicate about it, but we saw him. So who was he speaking about? The great news is reported by Romeo Agresti is that no, there are no chance that Matthias De Ligt will leave Juventus. And this is already maybe the best news news ever Matthias De Ligt is untouchable for Juventus grande grande we can't wait for the moment that he has the captain band in the future who knows but he has to stay though so not Matthias De Ligt but who can he speak about and then we continue with Gazzetta dello Sport who is saying there was a blitz of Mino Raiola yesterday in Turin the principal argument the big name is Donnarumma Donnarumma because we, I repeat you Milan uh, is now paying him 6 million salary a year they want to increase it to 8 million to extend this contract that will stop actually in two months he didn't renew yet Mino Raiola is asking 12 12 million euro who is able to pay that hey it depends PSG is able to do it but also Juventus. Juventus that is still figuring out what to do with Dybala. We will speak about Dybala. Donnarumma can be, I repeat you, I remind you that a year ago in the summer Mercato, the first time I had Luca Momblano on this channel for a live, I told him, what about Juve and Donnarumma while nobody was speaking about it? Maybe it will be real this summer. Let's see. Juve da Kin Apogba scatta la zona Raiola. We are in the Raiola zone where we speak also about Moïse Kin. Moïse Kin, that yesterday we made a video about it. Don't know if you were able to see it or not. One video, but also Pogba. Pogba. Kin. Donnarumma, Romagnoli, so many names linked to Juve. I'm really curious to see why he was there yesterday. And we know that Agnelli already planned a meeting with Cristiano Ronaldo to decide the future of Cristiano Ronaldo will happen in the beginning of May. To be sure, what will we do with uh, Cristiano? Will he extend? Will he stay last year? Will he leave already? We don't know at the moment. It's a big question mark. At the moment, more possibilities for Cristiano Ronaldo to stay and honor his last uh, year of contract. We will see what will happen, but a lot will depend also on him. If Cristiano Ronaldo leaves, eh, you have a big saving in terms of salary. Eh, maybe you can reinvest in the big, big salary of Donnarumma. Let's see what will happen. I told you, I repeat you, I'm a big fan of Cristiano Ronaldo and I want him to stay at Juve also next year. Yesterday, I was a special guest on Turin's Giant podcast. was amazing. One hour and 50 minutes of really nice talks about uh, Juve, but also about me how I started YouTube and so on. If you are interested, you can uh, listen it for free on Spotify and on uh, Apple uh, Podcast and so on and so on. Really great. We continue with the news. Paolo Dybala yesterday changed his profile picture on Instagram. We know that today a lot of hidden communication happens through social media to really small things like a like, like a, a small comment here, like a changing a, a, a picture. And yesterday, Paolo Dybala, he changed his profile picture on Instagram. He has put the name name of Dybala number 10 from the back on his uh, uh, on his body with in the left arm the armband of captain is it a sign what is uh, the Paolo Dybala trying to say to Juventus what is the hidden message there I'm sure of one thing it has been done on purpose what is the signal we don't know Juventus Atalanta or Atalanta Juve or I started the video with it because we are playing on Sunday important game will be Il Re dei Bomber, Cristiano Ronaldo, the king of the goal scorers, because he scored the most, versus actually the team that is scoring the most in Serie A, if I'm not wrong, 71 goals, will be a big, big game. A big game where we will see a lot of counterattacks, a lot of occasions, let's see, one guy that has to be pay attention, it's Bonucci, we don't know yet if he's ready to play or not versus Atalanta because he's just recovered from COVID-19 so maybe he will be ready maybe not but if he plays pay attention to Zapata because we know that Zapata versus Bonucci hey, hey, we know that Zapata has always uh, had a bit of uh, facilities because Bonucci is suffering Zapata a lot so pay attention to that Bonucci and just for that I would go for Chiellini and uh, De Ligt another time and then we speak about Bonucci for the next game guys that was it for me I repeat you don't forget subscribe and put a maximum of like if you love Juventus if you love the fact that we are doing videos every day one video sometimes two videos we do the post game night we do so many things thank you Forza Juve